Okay, can I speak for all of us when I say brrrr? It is finally warmer now, but how about those cold temperatures we've had this morning, yesterday? You know, besides covering your face, your head and your hands, there is another health concern that you need to watch out for this winter. We're going to tell you what it is, what you can do to avoid the condition, and why NASCAR driver Brian Vickers is speaking out to help you stay protected. With the new year, oftentimes comes the commitment to a new you. And if you've already missed a couple of workouts or you've cheated on your diet, don't give up. We have some ways you and your family can get back on track, including which foods you want to avoid that claim to be healthy. And the new year can also mean new price hikes. We're going to run down the list of what you can expect to pay more for in 2014, whether the economy is really recovering, and just exactly what that means for you. The fifth season of Del Marble Life starts right now. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Lisa Bryant. I'm Jimmy Hoppel. Welcome to Del Marble Life in Historic Studio D. And can you believe it? Season five, five begins seasons. today. Wow, amazing. And we want to thank everyone for allowing us to have some time off. If you notice, we've been off for a little bit yeah. uh, to spend with our families and take some time off. We also have been working very hard gearing up for the new season. Right. But I do want to show you a picture from the favorite, my favorite part of the holiday break. This is Christmas uh -oh. Eve. These are my three children. My oldest son's in the middle, kind of poking his head through. Right. This is Christmas Eve at midnight during the candlelight service. And I want to say this is the happiest I been, I was the whole time. <laughs> the because whole time. Mama Bear had all of her three bears there. That's a great picture. All right, let me share one too. Uh, this is me uh, Christmas with my goddaughter <laughs> Emma and yes it was a wonderful present and thank you for having us over because it was a great time. You look, you look great. We had a large time over the holidays so yeah. it's good to get started again but you know what to get started again with hot topics how ironic is this? We're talking cold. Look at this picture of the frozen bay in South Bethany. Unbelievable. It's a beautiful Wow, gorgeous sunset. picture. We That's... want to thank Andrew White from Ocean View for sending in this picture. Here's another one. You may have seen this one because it's been circulating. This photo was taken from a pilot who <laughs> yes. was flying on a plane. He took a, a nap during his DC to Chicago flight and he woke up to this. This is Lake Michigan in Chicago. Wow. Isn't that gorgeous and with the sun, you know, kind of glaring on there? Solid ice there inside the, the, the walls around Chicago, isn't it? Oh, uh, absolutely amazing. That. Okay, so temperatures in the single digits for a couple of days, barely into the teens maybe. You've tried this boiling water to snow thing? Mm -hmm. Okay, here's the deal you need to understand. It's still boiling water. Take a look at these tweets that started coming out shortly after everybody started to do this. I tried to throw boiling water in the air. It backfired. All the water spilled on me. Now my leg is burned. Oops. Oops. <laughs> So I did the thing where you make snow and not all the boiling water froze, and now my head is burned. Oh. I take a look at this one. I tried to do the boiling water trick, but the water burned my hand, dropped the cup, and it broke. Fail would be an understatement, so don't. Aww. <laughs> you got to be careful. Saying. Here's a safer thing you could do. This is, did you know if you <laughs> leave a bottle of water out in the cold, you turn it upside down and then tap it. Take a right. look at what happens. That's liquid. Boom. Oh, wow. It freezes. I did not know that. Now look at the temperature gauge there because mm -hmm. did you see how much the temperature went up? The freezing water actually generated heat. Now wow. that, my friend, is a little bit weird. Yeah. Gotta try this some. <laughs> Here oh! you go. <laughs> Wouldn't Something you just else. love to jump on the trampoline to make it feel like summertime again? And this happens. Unless it's covered with ice. Aww. That was funny. <laughs> hey, the good news is we're expecting temperatures back in the 60s by Saturday. Oh, so I know. That's crazy. Crazy weather. And it was the weather that, um, I guess, scrubbed the first launch, attempted launch of the Antares rocket down at Wallops Island. Here's a picture from Sunday when they were rolling it out to the launch pad. They scrubbed it yesterday because the temperature was too low. Today they had to scrub it because of what they called solar activity, and that solar activity actually caused some radiation in the atmosphere. And Ooh. I guess that's a bad thing when you're launching a rocket. So we don't know when they're going to launch it again. But okay. So, all right. Well, they need to that, launch it soon because the guys up in the ISS need their supplies. They need their stuff. So, okay. Well, that's not going on for now, but something that is going on. Do you, did you have a model railroad? Oh yeah, my one? brother did. Yeah. I wanted one. My dad had one. I didn't have one. Uh, if you knew somebody who did, or maybe you did, this is the last weekend for the open house at the Del Mar Model Railroad Club in Del Mar, and trust me, it is worth the trip. The HO layout, the, uh, the area of Parkersburg, West Virginia to Chillicothe, Ohio. Mm. They've got several layouts all over this two-story building. It is absolutely, yeah. I haven't been there in a little I've bit. I've been there. I know it's changed, so i got to see it. If you want to go, 103 State Street in Del Mar, it's on the second floor of the Camelot Hall, Saturday and Sunday, free admission, free parking. Which is on the Delaware side. And yes. speaking of Delaware, did you know that it has been, I guess, determined that Delaware has the ugliest license plate? 
No. A recent survey from an insurance company says Delaware Standard Gold on Blue license plate with no art and only the first state motto was ranked 51st behind all 49 other states and the District of Columbia. Wyoming, by the way, came in at number one. I don't know if I agree with that. Yeah, it's, no, it's still no. more fun to live here anyway. Okay, so <laughs> let's go from ugly to cute. Okay. Here's your cute. Can't go anywhere without your daily dose of cute. Aww. This is Bao Bao getting ready for his big debut. And he is, I think you would agree, a little treasure. Bao Bao is only the second surviving cub at the National Zoo, born August 23rd, uh, weighs a little over 17 pounds. Public unveiling is set for January 18th. Now remember when he was just a little tiny Pretty thing, fair. only the size of a little stick of butter? Cool. Yeah, he's growing up fast. <laughs> 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 well, still ahead on Delmarva Life, he's the youngest NASCAR driver to win a series championship, but Brian Vickers is also considered to be a survivor. We'll learn about how a common and sometimes deadly condition took him from the driver's seat to the operating table and why this condition is more common when it's cold outside. Well, this is the time of year that a lot of us resolve to get in shape. Maybe you want to join a gym. We're going to find out what you need to know before you sign that membership contract. And once that contract is signed and sealed, we'll also learn what you need to keep in mind as you visit the gym. Plus why one facility wants the whole family to get involved. And getting financially fit may also be one of your resolutions. We're going to find out what will cost you more this year and how the current economy is going to impact you. Del Marvel Life, we'll be right back. Del Marvel Life is brought to you by... Sussex County Federal Credit Union, guiding you to your financial future. Peninsula Regional Medical Center, honored to serve the entire Delmarva Peninsula since 1897. Your local York and LG dealers and State Farm Insurance. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. 